We're here to talk to you about brands that you do or do not know. And sometimes you talk about brands that you do know, and sometimes you talk about brands that you don't know, and sometimes you talk about brands that you're like, what? And we might be touching one of those brands today. We're gonna to be talking about if RSR is coming back. So if you guys didn't know, RSR stands for Road Street Race. Boom, quiz question, there you go. Moving on to the next thing. Road Street Race is a company that's been founded and started and established and blah, 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 blah for quite a long time. And in fact, we're gonna do a wheel history, so we're not gonna shed too much light on the brand itself. But what you do need to know is RSR was a company that first got established essentially back in the mid 2015s. Overall, the company has been owned by MKW Alloy back in the past, and they do a pretty good job and have quite a cool history if you think about who owns that and how they've gotten apart and how they've grown and done wheels and things like that. But this is not a wheel history. You're gonna have to come back for that sort of information. RSR is a brand that really started out with three different variants of wheels. When we talk about Rode, we're talking about their cast lineup. It was usually a pretty flat face, allowing for the big brake kits, stuff like that. And it was low pressure cast, gravity cast, I think pretty much low pressure cast for the most part. And they were just nicely designed wheels and they're absolutely incredibly dangerously heavy. And it was just something that uh, was some, you know, something that they did. We have a few guys here that ran their RSR wheel lineup. They ran the road lineup and they loved it. It was a cool design. It looked really great, but they were heavy. Then you had the street lineup where it was something that was getting a little better into the wider setups, especially in the rear for staggered cars. You had things that were doing different brake clearances and different sort of high flow form options and things like that. And you know, it was, I mean, it was good, I think, but then RSR was like, mm -mm, we're not doing that anymore. And then they're like, well, we got the cast lineup still and the cast lineup. And then they were like, mm -mm, mm -mm, we're, not, we're, not, we're not doing that either. And so, I mean, it's called RSR, but really it's just R. I mean, it's, it's just race now. That's pretty much all they do. So the road lineup has some wheels that are not getting continued. The street lineup has some, some wheels that aren't getting discontinued, or that are getting discontinued. And then you have the race lineup. And the race lineup is where RSR really actually wants to be. And in terms of like the, you know, doing the, the, the like the fun stuff, it's in that lineup. Like imagine if you were doing, like you wanted to be a videographer, you're starting your YouTube channel, and like you could either A, make, you know, tutorials on, you know, how to bake, pumpkin spice lattes, or you could be a videographer for Kemp's Milk, or you could be a videographer at an aftermarket wheel company and you know have some beer and relax and hang out and talk to a bunch of strangers on the internet. I think the third one is the most fun, you know? And the race lineup of RSR is by far the most fun. It's where they've been spending a lot of their time, and that is obviously their race spec series line, and they do everything possible everything they could possibly imagine in that lineup. So they do everything from forged monoblocks to different sort of race magnesium wheels to everything in between. In fact, RSR was one of the companies that actually developed the R981, which came in at under 17 and a half pounds in a 20 by 10, which is absolutely insane when you actually start to think about it. So what, why are you watching this and why do you care? That's a great question and sometimes I ask myself all the time when I'm on YouTube. RSR is a brand that a lot of people seem to almost forget about because they haven't been in the limelight too much, but they are coming back. RSR reached out to us a few times, a few months ago in regards to a new lineup that they're doing that is part of the race series lineup. We've talked to you in the past about low pressure cast, gravity cast, flow form, spin forge, cold forge, rotary forge, fully forge, multi-piece, two-piece forge. You can make a rap song out of it. I'm pretty sure I could do it. We talked to you about all the different kinds of ways that you can make wheels. And one of the biggest things that we talked about was how forged wheels are insanely awesome and insanely expensive. It's almost impossible to get your hands on a set of fully forged wheels unless you're looking to pick up some 527Fs from XXR. You're probably paying around four to six grand for forged monoblock wheels. It's just the world that we live in. So when RSR came to us and they said, hey, we're making a whole new lineup. It's called the 901, 902, and 903, and they're gonna be, you know, 19, by 10s, 20 by 10s, 20 by 11s, and they're gonna be specific for vehicles like the Honda Civic Type R and the Corvette and the Ford Mustang and their fully forged monoblocks. We're like, super cool. We cannot wait for you guys to get out there and sell one set a year because they're gonna cost $6,000. Then they told us, they're like, yeah, about that. These are gonna cost you like not that much. They're gonna cost you like $2,600, $2,800. And we're like, 
how can you even do that? And they talk to us and they tell us a little bit about their partnerships and things like that and how they're able to make magic happen. And we're not gonna get into the political backside of it, but what you do need to know is that RSR's new wheel lineup is a fully forged monoblock. And the 901 is gonna be specific to the Ford Mustang. The 902 is gonna be specific to the Corvette, I believe. And the 903 is gonna be specific to the Honda Civic Type R, which is super cool when you think about it because that's what a lot of wheel companies are going for now is specific wheels for specific models because not a lot of people like to go into the guessing of offset and size. So when a wheel company just makes them for you, you can be pretty well, you know, comfortable in knowing that you made the right choice. We had one of our guys, Kirk, here ended up picking up a set of the RSR 901s for his Ford Mustang GT350, and they look absolutely killer. They weigh under 24 pounds for a 20 by 11, 20 by 10. It's absolutely insane, and the finish is insane. Everything about them is cool, and RSR is a brand that you just don't hear a lot about. So when we thought about talking about a brand, we thought we'd bring up RSR and the fact that they are coming back into the game, and into a way that's not probably what most of you would really be interested in because I know a lot of you guys would prefer the flashy, exciting, really extravagant wheels or multi-piece or maybe you're just looking to pick up your first set which this probably wouldn't be your first set of wheels that I would recommend buying. But it's cool to see that RSR is coming back because the road line was a very cool lineup, had a bunch of cool designs and street was also a very good lineup and they had a lot of Porsche wheels that I was actually interested in looking at myself. But they're what they remind me of is very similar to what BBS did when they reconsolidated in the early 2000s. You see, RSR realizes is what they want to do in life. They know what they want. And what they want to do is they want to make lightweight, good wheels that just get the job done, that look great, and have a ton of function behind them. Which is very similar to BBS, in case you remember when they reconsolidated and they decided that they wanted to get more into motorsport versus just selling wheels to every single person they possibly could. It takes a lot out of a company to make those decisions, especially when it comes down to cutting things that may make you more money. And to see RSR deciding to make that decision and to go into wheels that are absolutely outstandingly cool and strong and everything in between is very, very neat. And I know that I have a lot of respect for companies that are willing to do that, especially when it comes down to making things that are a little bit riskier in the current game. There's a lot of people that are just running rotary forged one piece wheels because that's the safe bet right now. But to go up a step and go into fully forged one pieces for like $25 to $3,000 is an absolute insane bargain. And it's gonna be really exciting to see if RSR can hit the market in the way that all the other companies do. And if, you know, they got some marketing behind them, maybe they'll just get some jobs done. So if you're interested in looking at seeing what the RSR new wheel lineup looks like, and if you're wondering if they're back in the game, you can head over to fitmanindustries.com, you can check out RSR right on our site, or click the link below, and see if there's any wheels out there that you like. Otherwise, you know, if you don't have a Mustang, Civic Type R, or Corvette, there's a whole bunch of other wheels out there too. You might just find yourself your next set. But I'm Alex from Fitman Industries. Drop a comment on what you'd like to see next. And of course, I can't believe I said epi epitome. Epitome? Epitome, 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 epitome. I don't know what I did there, okay? It was a small mistake. I use big words all the time. It was the first time I used a big word, I think, maybe, probably, ever, incorrectly. Besides, it's not O'Day. I learned that too. Miriam Webster, thank you, I guess, for saying that it's odd. Who says odd? It's an ode. It's an ode to an older, no, uh-uh, not accepting it yet. So, you know, for the people in the comment section that were talking about how it's a pit to me, a pit to me, you know what, fine, you win this round. I say a lot of words really fast, so in terms of my like accuracy reading, I'd say I'm at, like 99.99%, and in terms of like keyboard skills, I'm banging. I'm like 110 a minute. Try to see if you can get 110 a minute. I don't know why I'm talking to you about this, but anyway, I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you later. Peace.